Hello fellow KeyCatters, I'm Reed with DigiKey Electronics, and in this video series I'll be talking you through the changes and new features of KeyCAD 5.0. Let's get started. In this video I'll be covering the changes and updates made to the 3D capabilities of KeyCAD. Since the last stable release, several code changes have expanded the 3D capabilities to be able to include realistic ray tracing, support for step and iJazz file formats, and the ability to export a step file of the board assembly. Ray tracing has been added so that more realistic images can be achieved directly from the 3D viewer. A few more options have been added to the display options as well, such as being able to turn off and on certain model types. A few changes have been made to the drop down menus, but the most important to mention is the preferences menu where the selection of the preferred render engine can be made and the list of render options has expanded. The process of selecting a 3D model for a particular footprint has changed slightly in that a viewer has been added to make component selection slightly easier. A viewer has also been added to the 3D settings tab to facilitate scaling and alignment. And finally the step export function. An export board assembly to step file will generate a single step with the entire assembly. I've done this ahead of time and here's the result. Keep in mind only components with an associated step file in the directory will be exported. WRL files are not converted. That should cover the major changes of the 3D capabilities of KeyCAD. Tune in to the next video where I'll cover the footprint library editor, and thanks for watching.